We want to turn our attention now to the backups at the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. They may have a hand in yet another problem, theft, as people cart off goods from cargo trains. And in a recent report from CargoNet, California topped the list of states with the most cargo thefts. And joining us with more of this, excuse me, is Keith Lewis. He is a vice president of operations at CargoNet, as well as Scott Cornell, crime and theft specialist at the insurance giant Travelers, and also Yahoo Finance's Danny Romero. Uh, I guess, Scott, we want to start with you. What are some of the biggest takeaways from uh, the recent quarterly report here uh, that you just produced? About the CargoNet report? Uh, yes, please. So what we're seeing this year is electronics back in the number one category for stolen commodities across the country. And we're seeing also that California has moved back into that number one spot that they've held for most of the last couple of decades. Uh, in 2020, we did see Texas move into the lead spot for uh, that year. But California usually is in that lead spot and they move back into that lead spot so far through the third quarter of 2021. The numbers are uh, down a little bit from 2020, but still up over 2019. So we're still seeing that uptick in uh, cargo theft in general and specifically in Southern California, the theft of electronics and household goods being targeted uh, pretty heavily. And Keith, you know, back to the report, what are you expecting the trends for next year? Do you expect them to be the same or different, or could it be worse? Well, it's a push-pull uh, market, and it's a pull market right now with the consumers buying so much in regard to electronics, furniture, and other items that are coming in through the port. And the old saying is freight at rest is freight at risk. And with the log jam at the port and getting the, the containers out of there, getting them to stack yards, uh, carrier yards, et cetera, uh, the freight is sitting uh, at the, at the, at the, uh, in that area of California. The other thing we're seeing is an uptick in pilferages, people stealing something just off you know, the back of the truck or somewhere in the middle of the truck. So we see, we see this is going to continue for a while. Yeah, and, and another interesting thing to the report was that in the East Coast, refrigerator trucks are kind of the favorite target for thieves uh, this year. Why is that? Uh, well, where, where you're seeing on the East Coast is that's at the it's at Savannah, the Port of Savannah. There's uh, some crews down there that are working that area. There was a statewide task force that was working that. That statewide task force has gone away. And there's container yards down there that bring in refrigerated containers from overseas, uh, South America, and those are being targeted. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's basically that's where all freight is. So that's where you're going to see the thefts. You're not going to see the thefts in the, middle of, uh, in the middle of Wyoming or Montana. The freight is sitting at the ports, and that's what's causing the uptick in thefts. Yeah, and Scott, why is it hard to essentially track these uh, thefts? Can you explain a little bit about that? And um, what are the blind spots, I guess, for these transportation companies? Well, I think the difficulty in tracking the thefts is more around not knowing exactly where it's going to hit, especially when you have more freight sitting around it makes it much more difficult to predict exactly what load, what load they may target, which loads they're going to hit, what area they're going to work in that day or that weekend. So the best policy is obviously to be on guard at all times. I think when we talk about transportation companies and anybody that's involved in the supply chain, uh, Keith and myself and others, and, and we here at Travelers always talk to our clients about awareness and education and knowing where the thefts are occurring and what's being targeted and how those thefts are occur are being uh, committed so that they can be better prepared to avoid them or deal with them and prevent them from happening in the first place. And Keith, you were talking before about the, uh, the I guess, preference among thieves for to uh, go after these refrigerated trucks, kind of a seasonal thing. I'm wondering if you can push beyond into next year. Are you seeing any trends that may alert you as to what the targets may be in this changing environment? Uh, the target, uh, one of the things that we're really seeing a shortage is, is in electronics, computer chips and those type of things. Uh, those are in high demand. Electronics, the, uh, the games, those type of things. People are spending more time at home. 
uh, movie theaters are empty. The kids are spending time at home versus going out. So electronics, gaming, uh, those type of things, proprial uh, devices for computers are going to be the, uh, the trend for the future, I believe. Where last year, last year it was uh, household goods with uh, PPE, wipes, uh, mask, and those type of things. We're seeing that uptick back in the electronics now. And Scott, we have 30 seconds, so I wanted to ask you one last thing to just wrap this up. You know, cargo theft, you know, really impacts operations. Can you talk about how, you know, that really is going to impact this holiday season? Anytime that you have a theft or you take away some of the inventory that's going to be out there, you're going to have a shortage on different items. So depending on, uh, you know, as Keith pointed out, if they target electronics or gaming consoles or things like that, there's going to be less to choose from. There's going to be less to pick from. Um, you may have uh, fewer things on the shelves or fewer choices to make when you go out to shop this year. And we see this commonly in the fourth quarter uh, of almost every year. We see a little bit of that holiday bump and uptick in the amount of cargo that's on the road is usually followed by an uptick in the amount of theft that follows it. And we're going to leave it there. Scott Cornell, crime and theft specialist at insurance giant Travelers, as well as Keith Lewis, vice president of operations at CargoNet, a Verisk business, as well as Yahoo Finance's Danny Romero. Thanks for joining us.